This is gonna suck. Ah. What is up, everybody? Blake, Fat vs. World. Thanks for joining me today. We're gonna do the five easy, easy, easy ways to make fat look sexy. So these are the ways that I've tried to mask it, tried to make myself look a little bit better and presentable in public so you don't get these, see these movies right here? Number one, dark colored shirts help. There's a reason that everyone says that black is the best and most slimming looking clothing for heavy people. Black looks slimming because shadows don't cast the same way. So when I stand like this, you see these shadows underneath. The lights hitting the top of my chest the below part of my movies are making a shadow. Obviously lighting doesn't change with black clothing, but it does look different. It gives you that kind of optical illusion that you're not seeing a shadow when in fact you are. It's just innately shadows are black. Before we get into this next one, I want you to take a look at these two pictures. This is the progress I've had. This is uh, how I'm looking from when I started to now. Just give me your thoughts. What do you think in the second picture in my after, what do you think I weigh currently? So in fact, the answer is exactly the same. I weigh no different in those two pictures. I did them right here, two different sets of clothing, exact same time. That leads us directly to number two, suck it in. There's multiple benefits to sucking in your belly and just pulling in your weight in general. Okay, you've got one, you're burning calories while you do it. My belly is actually pretty close to rock hard. I'm not an ab guy. I mean, you see how big I am. I'm not doing abs. I'm just sucking in at almost any given time of any given day just because. I mean, A, it makes me look a little bit better. B, it's kind of a tiny workout just throughout the entire day. That little bit of consistent muscle usage, and it actually aids in posture. So you actually are standing up a little bit better, which, as you can guess, a bigger belly, more weight, most of those most of us people that are heavy tend to slouch over a little more. Number three is busy clothing. What I mean by busy clothing is clothing that has a little something to look at. Okay, this is a solid color shirt. Now, because it's darker, it's okay. But from the side, you can tell where my, we're gonna call this the saddlebag, love handles, saddlebag. So you can see my saddlebags on my chest. From the side, you can see a little bit of that casting shadow. But this is a non-busy shirt. This is a single color, no graphics, no breakup, nothing to the shirt, just a basic Walmart cheapo shirt. Now, take a look at this. Busier shirt, okay? It's not just that one simple color, although it is roughly all red. You have that red and white, you have a little bit of stitching, there's a little pockets. These pockets actually give you a little bit of a cover for your protruding, sometimes your nipples push through your shirt, you see them, it's a little bit, you know, it makes you self-conscious, you're constantly, I know I am, I constantly try to, and it's funny to say, being transparent, I pinch, actually pinch my nipples to make them harder and smaller. A much busier shirt, all right? This shirt, in my opinion, looks better on me than the last shirt did. Now from the side, no saddlebag hardly. You might see a little bit of a stretch of the clothing because it's being moved in that direction. And this is just one shirt, which leads me into my fourth one. And my fourth one is either taping or an undershirt, a tight undershirt. Now. At some heavy people probably know what I'm talking about. Women who have been in extremely tight dresses or in athletics, they probably know what I'm talking about with the taping. A very tight undershirt, it's not like a, you know, I'm not giving you some secret no one knows about. If you wear a tight undershirt, the top shirt looks a little bit better. I'll show you here. So this is a sleeveless workout shirt. It's just an old shirt that I had that I worked out in, got it a little bit dirty. You can see my, my massive farmer's tan. But this is just a tighter fitting, uh, older shirt that I've worked out in, and it fits very snug to me. It's very tight, kind of pulls everything in. So this is the undershirt, okay? We're gonna put that initial shirt back on. Now we've got the initial shirt back on. We're gonna kind of stand back, take a look. A little bit of a contour, a little bit of an outline. You can just kind of see where the saddlebag is. This shirt looks like it fits me perfectly, and I'm not really protruding out of it in any way. It's keeping everything kind of in. It's keeping everything kind of pulled together. 
Additionally, this room is actually relatively warm. I'm sweating a little bit. Heavy set people, we sweat more than others. So I get hot, I sweat a lot. Now, that initial shirt, it's gonna get soaked, isn't it? No, it's not. That undershirt will actually get a little bit of sweat and, and the perspiration pulled into it. And you're not gonna end up with pit stains underneath your arms. You're not gonna end up with a big collar, especially when it gets to a long day. Now, when it comes to taping, taping is A, a little bit more difficult to do, and B, it's gonna hurt a little bit, depending on what kind of tape you use. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what you can do. All right, so now we've got our uh, tape applied. We have flattened down a protruding nipple that's gonna push through the shirt. We've also tightened up the under part of what we're calling the saddlebags. It's all flat, it's tighter. Now, I know a lot of you are laughing and going, oh, look at this guy. This is for people who are extremely, and I mean ex just extremely upset about how they look and the way that their clothes make them look. Now, we're only doing six in this video, but number six would be get a little bit skinnier. But we've got every video after this to worry about that. All right, so I'm going to throw my shirt on real quick. Now, we've done essentially the same thing as the undershirt, but without the undershirt. We're a little cooler now, but you can't, I mean, not that you're looking, but you can't see my nipples through the shirt. You can see I have a raised chest area, but you can't see my nipples through my shirt. Now, one thing this does count out is white shirts, but white shirts are gonna be a dead giveaway. Unless they're a very dense cotton, you're gonna see it through it. You do not want that. But as I said, use this technique for something like really tight fitting clothes, and you really just want that guaranteed covering and, and not have to think about, well, is everyone looking at my torpedoes that are, you know. But you also have that little bit of coverage and you're breathing a little bit better by only having the one shirt. Now, if this video gets to 100 likes, I will show the clip of me taking the tape off. Now that leads us to number five, and number five is the most easy of them all, own it. This isn't any kind of a tip or a trick or anything that I can give you that is a put this shirt on a certain way and you will be more attractive. The simple fact is you need to do something about it at some point. You need to get skinnier. I'm still there. I'm, you know, call me a hypocrite if you'd like. I'm getting skinnier. I'm doing something about it. But right now you're at a party, you're at a club, you're at a grocery store, whatever, and you have an engagement with someone that you, you think is attractive or something and you want to, you don't want to come out and go, I'm fat, aren't I? That's not really how it works. You need to have some swath. If you make a joke or you bring it out into the air about how heavy you are, put your insecurity out there. It is, it is appealing. It's attractive. Be as big as you are. Find yourself attractive, whether you don't like the way you look or not, and it'll, it, it'll show to others. Just find yourself attractive, regardless of if you actually are or if you actually feel you are. Just find yourself attractive. That's my five tips, guys. I appreciate you watching. And as always, I've got a few shout outs for you guys. Some people who've been helping me out, so I want to let you know who they are. Uh, from my Facebook, I've got Isaac Carpenter, Joshua Psycho Bob Martinez, Eric Powell, Jerry Wilmoth, and Cody Blair. I appreciate it, guys. Y'all are the best. From YouTube, we've got Hiking to Change, Keeping It Dutch, Ron White, Royal Cabras, and Papa Roy. You guys, you are amazing. I so much appreciate it. You don't understand. This is awesome. I'm loving what I'm doing. This is feeling good to just have a channel and have an audience. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you want to see upcoming. If you want to see more of these tips or in general, you just want to see mostly weight loss. But anyway, guys, I appreciate it. You all have a great day. Take care. Live the dream. And we'll see you next time.